Hey everyone, it's Noel from creationeffects.com, and this tutorial shows how you can make bird murmurations in After Effects using Phlox. Phlox is a popular and affordable After Effects template from Creation Effects that can be used to create all kinds of custom bird animations. And uh, realistic murmurations is one feature of the template, so here's a segment from the Phlox tutorial that shows how it's done. You can find the murmuration comp in the Starling folder. Open that up. This is a uh, one segment comp, obviously. Uh, there's a thousand birds in here, and I recommend you actually add another thousand. You can just select all the blue layers and duplicate them. Uh, increasing that population will make the trail of birds a little longer, which is good. And uh, if, if you don't add a thousand, then I recommend you double the uh, position delay in followers, and that will give you a little bit of a longer trail. Keep in mind that 2,000 birds is going to make this comp run really slow, slower than what you see in the video because I uh, edit out the parts where it's loading for the sake of time. But 2,000 is a good number, and also we're going to be doubling and tripling them up a little later to increase the numbers. It's not going to be like a lot of murmurations you've probably seen where there's a million or more starlings, but we can do about 10,000 or so pretty easily, which is like the nest best thing. The uh, first thing I would do is change the random seed to some random value, and that'll give you a totally unique murmuration. And then set your out point. If you have the time, you may want to make this comp 20 seconds or more, and that way you can pick and choose the best parts of the clip uh, to use. You also might want to preview a single frame every second or two, uh, just to make sure that the flock stays in your composition and doesn't get the edges cut off. Uh, if it does, you can just increase the size of the comp. And then when it's ready to go, we'll need to export this comp with the alpha channel, so make sure it has a transparent background, and send it to a Adobe Media Encoder. And then it's going to take forever to open Adobe Media Encoder, so go make yourself a delicious sandwich. And so now it's open, and uh, you can just use the same settings I showed you earlier. But again, when you click the format, uh, because our comp was so huge, it's going to take a super long time again. So you'll want to go out and buy, like, maybe a pie, um, because you'll need something to wash the sandwich down. And we've skipped ahead. I've rendered 30 seconds of 2,000 birds, and it took a little over three hours. I have my clip here, which I'll place over my footage and I'll move it to where I want and maybe scale it down a little bit. I'll add my tint effect like I showed you earlier. And next I'll duplicate this clip and slide it over maybe 10 frames. I'll rotate it slightly move it over a little bit. Uh, if you want to adjust the scale slightly, you can do that. This is just to add some variation to the flock so it doesn't uh, just look like an exact duplicate. If you want, make a third copy and repeat the process. And then duplicate it again, uh, but this time slide it way over so that we have a completely different pattern of flight. And I'll duplicate that one and slide it over a few frames. So now we have two separate groups flying their own separate pattern here. And I think it looks good when they fly over each other. Um, so to keep the two groups together, you may want to animate the position of the second group to stay in the general area of the first group. Be sure to convert the keyframes to Easy Ease keyframes to keep the movement smooth. It's going to take a little experimentation. Um, since their flight is random, some parts you'll probably like more than other parts. <laughs> 